Harlem Fashion Row and Fashion Week, and last night is the founder of and president of Harlem Fashion Row, Brandis Daniel, and you set up that whole partnership with yeah. IMG. Welcome. Thank you for Thank being you. here. I'm so honored to be here. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. So you've been having this party for a while, yes. and then suddenly, boom, it's part of it. Yeah. It was, um, it's, it was such a great partnership. So last year, we celebrated 11 years, and IMG supported that event. Mm -hmm. And at, right after a day I after... I want to do something here. Ah. Your microphone is touching. Okay. All right. Let's okay. fix that. Let's see if that helps. And a day after that event, mm -hmm. Ivan Bard, who's the president of IMG, G contacted me and said, hey, let's meet. I said, this week? Your Fashion Week? <laughs> the busiest time? And he's like, yeah. So we met right in the middle of Fashion Week, models walking all around us, so much buzz going on. And we had a real conversation about diversity in fashion and what some of the challenges were that designers were facing. And he said at that moment, IMG is committed to being a partner with you nice. in your work. Mm -hmm. And so that is how this all started. It all started. And, yeah. we, and speaking about the diversity, because we're talking about all kinds of things, color, culture, yes. s physical size, yeah. um, disabled, not yeah. disabled, everything. Yes. I mean, how, how do we, uh, how do you all as an industry mm -hmm. get more people involved to reflect who we all are? Yeah, I think it's, um, I think it's going to take an industry-wide effort. And, you know, I told someone last night that when I first started Holland's Fashion Row in 2007, we deal a lot with racial diversity. Mm -hmm. And when I first started, no one wanted to talk about race and fashion. It was very taboo. Across the board, no one wanted to have the discussion. And now people are so willing to actually openly have the conversation and, like, face the, some of the tough realities um, that are very prevalent in this industry. So we see it, we're seeing it, more men on the runways, yes. uh, pe people of color on the runways, yes. um, more of them. Yes, uh, uh, but, but as a designer, just to get somebody to listen to you yes. and, and look at your work. Absolutely. I mean, that has to be just a real challenge and then, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And they need people like you to help, you know, help yes. keeping the word out there and, and the excitement of it. Absolutely. I always say, like, being an African-American and deciding to become a designer is, like, one of the hardest things and hardest decisions I think someone could ever make. Mm -hmm. um, it's already hard just being a new designer. Period, and then when you add on the fact that you know you may not come from the right the right background, mm -hmm. or you may not come from certain means, or um, have contacts at certain magazines, and a lot of times the fashion is really who you know, and to still decide to make that commitment, that's a big commitment. You are committed. Yeah, totally. And throwing some luck there as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's let's talk about Ruth Carter. Um, how exciting to have her there as an yes. honoree. And uh, how exciting that she is nominated for an Oscar. Yes. Uh, I didn't realize how many films she had done. Can you tell us God. about tell us about uh, enjoying the evening with her? The breadth of her work is absolutely incredible. I got a chance a few years ago to do a one-on-one -on -one with her. Nice. And um, really got a chance to understand like what went on in her mind as she got ready for a film. Mm -hmm. And I said, like, "You're like a mad scientist." <laughs> she really is a genius in how she approaches her films and how she approaches her work um, and so I was just beyond excited that IMG actually brought Ruth Carter to the table and said hey we really want to do something with her and we were we I've, we've been wanting to honor her for years so it really worked out that we were both aligned in um, our passion for her work mm -hmm. and this was just kind of the perfect storm because right really now she's good. nominated for an Oscar so it's Perfect. Okay, let's talk about another big name you're involved with, Harlem Fashion Row. These uh, LeBron James, and, and <laughs> I saw on the website, on the yes. website, it's a beautiful website, by the way. Thank uh, you. But that, that sneaker for women? Yeah. Yeah, we created. What's that like talking with him? I know. So first of all, LeBron James is so nice. Okay. I have to like. You never know. Like you see people, and you wonder how they yeah, really and you are. You wonder. You wonder. Yeah. But he's really nice. And last year they decided to do something very different. This was the first LeBron shoe um, that was designed by women for women. Mm -hmm. And in particular, it was three African American women that designed that shoe. Um, the 16 shoe that sold out in less than five minutes. By goodness, the way. <laughs> goodness, goodness. Are we looking at them here? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And um, it was just an incredible experience to be able to work with LeBron and the Nike t design team who were, you know, from the day we walked in their doors, they showed us nothing but respect. Hmm. 
and you know I think the designers were really shocked at how open they were to their ideas. And Brandis, that's part of what your your company Harlem Fashion Road. It, Row Harlem Fashion Row is all about it is nurturing, looking for, yes. helping, get, you know, connecting uh, fashion designers to be yes. or already established ones. Just get that exposure. Yeah, that must bring you great reward. It brings me great soul. reward. And let me tell these three designers in particular who worked on the LeBron shoe. Um, one of the biggest things that came out of that project was their collaboration. Mm -hmm. They had never worked with another designer before ever. And this is the first time, and they um, have built like the sisterhood. They built the sisterhood, and they still talk to each other and share resources and Great. share factories and share challenges as well. Um, so I think, you know, we thought it was going to be about the shoe, but it was it ended up being a lot more about like women collaborating mm -hmm. and what can happen when we actually come together in that way. Uh, this fashion week, uh, where what shows are you going to be going to? Uh, who can so you not I, wait to see? I'm so excited. There's a designer um, who who was launching his first line, Jason Rembert. Okay. And he's a stylist. He styled Issa Rae, Rita Ora, um, so many other celebrities that we know. And he started his line, and he was our honoree last year. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about going to his show. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. And you look beautiful, by Thank the way. you. I'm wearing Kimberly Gold's, one of the designers for the LeBron James shoe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a nice way to end it, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you, nice Brandis. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Brandis Daniel. Awesome. One second, right there.